a picturesque setting, beside the crossing of the river Emont in Cumbria, Brougham Castle was founded in the early 13th century. This great little keep largely survives amid many later buildings, including the unusual double gatehouse and impressive Tower of League, both a formidable barrier against the Scots invaders and a prestigious residence. The castle welcomed Edward I in 1300. A complex of passages and spiral stairways makes Brougham a fascinating castle to visit, or just come for a picnic. The top of the keep provides panoramic views over the Eden Valley. Yes, the shore right over here. Brougham Hall is another hidden little gem with a fascinating history. Built in the 14th century, this beautiful building was the site of a fortified home reaching its height between 1830 and the early 1900s, set within a stunning countryside location. As we come up the A6 here, towards a war memorial, just before we turn left onto the B5320, which takes us into Pooley Bridge. This is the site of King Arthur's Round Table. Here we are at Pooley Bridge. In front of us is St Paul's Church. A slow ride through the village. And as you can see, there's quite a few public houses, a couple of quaint shops, an off license, and village stores. If you ever get a chance to call in Perry Bridge, it's well worth a visit. Now we are now at Weir, over the new bridge, which takes us round to Old's Water itself. The village takes its name from the big bridge over the river Emont. At the northern end of Old's Water, the bridge was erected in 1764 and replacing an earlier bridge from the 16th century. Unfortunately, the bridge collapsed on the 6th of December 2015 when Cumbria was hit by a heavy flood as a result of Storm Desmond. A new stainless steel bridge was lifted into place in May 2020. There is a pier from which ferries, known as the Old Water Steamers, provide connections to Glenridding and Hautau.
witnesses. The quiet site. As you can see, the site has a pub. This is the reception area. We've just got to stop and get our key and see where we stand for the night. On the site, you have toilet block facilities containing a shower. You also have a pizza area where they make pizzas on a night. You can also get a small breakfast there in the morning. To the left hand side there, we have the new toilet box. Just get refurbished. As you can see, residential caravans on the right. And then into log cabins. Other huts. Whatever you like to call them. Looks like that one's got to be ours for the night. As you can see, it's a beautiful little snake. I mean, let's go and see what we, where we stand for the night. What a view. Absolutely stunning. Here she is. Home sweet home. As you can see. Got a double bed. The sink. A fridge. Kettle with a teapot. Television. That view is absolutely stunner. It's got a skylight at the right hand side there. So actually in bed you can actually look out and watch the stars if you wanted. Although our has got a screen. Fire extinguisher, toaster. Toilet. Watch basin. A big, massive, clean shower room. So after yet hard day hiking into the hills or up to the waterfalls, it's nice to get back to the hut and just shower and chill out for the night. It's an old, fabulous view. Well, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed our quick tour up towards a quiet site. More to come in the future. Bye for now.